Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Zapay with This Day in Texas History for March 4th, 1836. Dr. John Sutherland and once again give up waiting for Fannin to show up at the, at the Cibolo River. They head back to Gonzales to see what the delay of, is of Fannin's army. At Gonzales, they are told of Fannin having turned back and staying in Goliad. This meant, quote, almost certain death for their family and friends in the Alamo. One of those in the group was Juan Jimenez, who was the brother of Demacio Jimenez and cousins to Terrible Lasoya and Gregorio Esparza, along with Terrible Lasoya's brother-in-law, Alal Milton. Other Tejanos in the group were Antonio Menchaca, Ambrosio Rodriguez, Salvador Flores, and Manuel Flores. The plan of the Tejano ranchers uh, who evacuated their families before Santa Ana arrived was to get their families to safety, then regroup in Gonzales. So they rejoined Seguin and tried going back, fulfilling their promise. All right, north wall starts crumbling as the Mexican cannons are within musket shot range. That means they're within uh, 50, 60 yards. Green Jameson keeps working, reinforcing the wall. Paso Benavides uh, arrives in Goliad to tell Fan of the fate of Dr. Grant and the rest of the Metamorphs expedition. Reportedly, a group of Texans try to fight their way into the Alamo. Since no notes got out from the Alamo, no one knows if any of the men made it, in order to, in or how many made it into the Alamo. According to Santa Ana's secretary and General Filosola, some were able to make it into the Alamo, but there are problems with their accounts. They conflated a lot of stuff, so, I mean, are you going to believe it, uh, what they said? I think uh, Santa Ana said there was 2,000 men in the Alamo, which is ridiculous. The nine-pounders are moved to within 200 yards of the Alamo and starts bombing the walls. Almonte's diary, a meeting of generals and colonels, was held. Cos, Castrilla, or Oris Nila, and Romero called for a breach in the walls and to wait for the arrival of the 12-pounders expected on the 7th. General Castrilan and Almonte argue for sparing any captured prisoners and against no quarter. No decision was, fan was, was finalized. Francisco Musquiz uh, goes to Santa Ana and begs him to bear Mrs. Dickinson and her daughter, who she had housed before Santa Ana arrived. Santa Ana promised that no woman in the Alamo would be harmed. This is very important because the practice was... Uh, the women and children of rebels, especially Tejano rebels, would be killed. So uh, that kind of goes against the, Corn the Tornell Decree on December 31st. But it would save the life of uh, Mrs. Dickinson and get out word of what happened at the Alamo. And some details. So Sam Houston's named the commander of all the forces of Texas. All right, this has been Alan Prater for This Day in Texas History for March 4th, 1836. I'll see you tomorrow.